What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Gibbon here today. Um, forgive me if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I had to have a molar extracted today um, that was a crown that failed, so I'm in a shitload of pain. I feel like I have been donkey kicked in the face, and I have no doubt that uh, there may be some bruising and swelling tomorrow, and that's only the first part of it. Obviously, what you are watching in the background is the reveal trailer for COD World War 2 and I'm gonna say probably the same thing that Bipolar Bear said congrats on the 1k subscribers by the way man well deserved um, if there were awards given out for trailers on a regular basis EA and Activision would consistently win those awards without really even having to try pretty much because they know how to do a reveal trailer. All two minutes of that trailer is absolutely brilliant. It really gets the juices flowing um, and it makes you think, oh, I can't wait for this game to come out. And the trailer does, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the look of it looks really good. It's just a shame that we didn't get any actual proper gameplay footage. What we did actually see was a lot of cutscenes that will probably be in the game. So... It would have been nice to see a little bit more gameplay footage. I wasn't expecting to see any multiplayer stuff. They wouldn't do that right about now. There has been confirmed a private beta, I think, so unless I'm going to get down on my knees and start sucking Activision's dick, I don't think I'm going to get involved in the private beta anytime soon or get any early access to the game. Boo hoo hoo. Um, the one thing that I will say um, about the actual trailer itself, um, as nice and as pretty and as atmospheric as it looked, um, you can't help but go Medal of Honor, Battlefront, Battlefield 1 has that kind of feel to it. So that's not me ragging on the game at all. You kind of look at it and think to yourself, haven't we been here before sort of thing? So it's, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and be negative about it. The trailer looked phenomenal. It looked really, really good. I, I literally watched the trailer and then switched off. I know that they're doing... Nazi Zombies, which looks really, really cool. I think that's going to be quite good fun to play. I think the fact that they're going to do a, um, a special kind of dark co-op for the actual missions itself as well, that looks really, really good. So I'll be interested to, to see that. I think that has good potential from a YouTube video point of view and just from you know enjoyment of the actual game itself as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how that one kind of plays out. But it's going to be difficult for us to judge kind of where this game's at until we actually see any sort of real actual in-game live footage of how some of the story might go or how some of the multiplayer might go as well. So, I mean, on that basis, I think it was successful. Like I said, I turned it off as soon as as soon as the trailer had finished because I, I really can't be asked to sit and listen to the bollocks that all of these guys spout when they start talking. Not to mention the guy at the beginning who did start talking, his mic was just an absolute nightmare because it was rubbing against his beard or something and sounded absolutely ridiculously stupid. Um, I just hope that they just keep building the hype quite right for this and they, they, they release the information show, slowly but surely. But like I said, it looks beautiful, it looks stunning, but just still, just reserve a little bit of judgement on it before you go too far with it. Because remember, all we saw were cutscenes from the game. Yes, it might be the trailer, but what they do with trailers is, is trailers are there and designed to draw you into it and don't necessarily show you any potential pitfalls with the game. And I'm not saying that there's going to be pitfalls with the game, but don't get too excited yet. Just calm your tits and see how the next sort of few months goes with a little bit more release, a little bit more information, a little bit more news, all of that kind of stuff and how how that kind of feels. And I just hope that we get a beta at a decent time, not a month before the game like they did with um, Infinite Warfare, which was essentially the release game, which was a big fuck up on their part. But no, it's... Um, I'm going to say 70% positive for me. I'm, I mean, I'm a sucker for that genre of... Um, of of game anyways in terms of the old school world war stuff that I, that's me i love that kind of stuff i love the fact that it's returned to boots on the ground i think that's definitely needed so yeah let's just reserve a little bit more judgment be excited because it looks phenomenal it looks great but we just we need some more information we need activision to come out and michael condry to come out with a bit more information i hope 
it goes well for Michael Condry because the, the guy seems like a really decent guy. I just want this to be good. I want this COD just to bring it back again for everybody and get everybody playing the game again. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.